CapCut has features just as powerful as After Effects, and in this video, I'll be sharing some of those effects that you can do inside of CapCut, like masking, motion tracking, cinematic blurring, sky changing effects, and more. Special thanks to CapCut for sponsoring this video, and you know I hate long intros, so let's just dive into this video. Editing effect number one is masking, and even if you know what masking is already, you may want to stick around because I don't think you've used masking in the way I'm going to show you in this video. And yes, After Effects does do masking better than CapCut, but the method I'm going to show you is going to allow you to mask out whatever you want. For this example, I actually masked out the area behind my door to make it look like I'm walking into Narnia or somewhere else. So let's take a look at how I did this. Now for some of these effects, I will be using the computer version of CapCut, but if you are on your smartphone, you'll still be able to follow along. It's just the layout will look a little different. Now for this effect, I have this video here of my door, and as I'm about to open it, you'll notice that the line here is very straight, the little crack on the door that was on purpose, and it's literally just me opening the door and looking through. That is literally all this clip is. And the secret to this effect is an overlay mask. So what I actually have is just a blank green image here. I just found this on, on Google. I'm just gonna drop this in here and I'm kind of gonna place it right when the crevice of a door appears. So it's about like right there. And I'll just drag that over there, extend it for the full length. Awesome. And I'm also going to increase the size here of the green. So we have the door just about to open and then boom, we're gonna hit complete green screen. And here's where the masking comes in with the clip selected. I'm gonna go over to the mask button and I'm going to click rectangle. And this is going to allow me to adjust the green screen to wherever I want it on the screen. So I literally have a made up portable green screen here that I can readjust the size of, and then I can also drag it over and put it in the crevice of the door here. And then I'm just gonna click on the other clip here just so we can see it. There we go, it's blocking the crevice. And now what we can do is start adding keyframes. So as I open the door, I can drag this green piece over. So what I'm gonna do is select the keyframes on the position of the mask here. And then I'm just gonna scroll over a little bit. That's about far enough. And now I'm gonna make an adjustment to this. So it take, continues to take up the full area there. There we go, that looks about right. And you can kind of check it just to make sure that it is doing as it should be. Scroll ahead a little bit further, adjust this a bit more. And then eventually what you'll have is this clip where it's completely green screened out, you've keyframed the whole entire thing, and you've basically masked out the opening, the other side of a door here. So now what we can do is you'll want to export this video, which I've already done, that's why it's in the timeline here as a duplicate. You wanna export this video out. We then can just delete this old part here because we just really need this part here. And then what I'm gonna do is I have this clip of this nature scene. I just got this from pexels.com, it's free stock footage. And I'm just gonna add this to the timeline and then drag this on top. We're also gonna increase the size of this so it takes up the full screen. There we go. Let's just put it over like so. Put this guy over the top. And now what we want to do is key out the green screen part. So we're gonna go over to Cutout. We're gonna to go to Chroma Key. We're going to pick the green color there. Turn up the strength. I usually like it to be pretty strong. And now, if we click play here, the door opens and we are in Narnia or we're in this natural park. Super cool effect. And keep in mind that this is a super simplistic version of this. You can technically green screen mask anything you want. And you can always add more green screen overlays if it's a more complex uh, thing you have to green screen out, but this gives you so much flexibility So you can do the simple one I did or even come up with your own creative ideas Where you can make green screen masks for different things to make other objects inside of them So it's a super cool effect even though you're working on a mobile device You still have the power of awesome masking Effect number two is something called leave color inside of After Effects, which basically is a tool where you can select a color in your video and only that color will be in color. So the rest of the image will be in black and white and that one color will be in color. You leave color. And doing this is super easy. In my project here, I have this clip of this couple jogging. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the blue color and the pink color, and I want the rest of this to be in black and white. And so what I can do is with the video selected, I can scroll over or just go over here to adjustment, 
and then I can click on HSL and this is going to allow me to select each individual color in the video and be able to control uh, the effects with it. So for example here, all this green, I can turn the saturation down. It's also a bit of yellow showing, so I can click yellow, turn that all the way down. I could also turn the orange down as well. And now, as you can see, the, the whole entire rest of the image is in black and white, but our two main characters here, they are in color. And what you can actually do, you can even select the blue, and I could turn up the saturation of that. Uh, I could select the pink and mess with that as well. I could even change the hue of it if I wanted to be more purple or I can make it orange if I wanted to. So there's a lot of adjustments you can do here. For one, just making a creative video. But two, if you wanted to draw attention to one of these subjects by putting everything else in black and white and just them in color, you can get a really awesome look. For our next effect, let's talk about video stabilization. And this is one After Effects has where you can actually stabilize a video after you filmed it. So if your video is kind of shaky, you can click a button in After Effects. It's going to stabilize that footage for you. And CapCut actually has this built in. So in my project, I have this video of Jar Jar Binks that I do a little kind of zoom in and zoom out with. And I purposefully made this shaky. So you can see it's going back to the left, right, up, down. It's going all over the place. I've purposefully made it movement and kind of shaky. And all I have to do to stabilize this is click on the video, scroll over to the right, and you'll eventually see one called stabilize. And if you click on this, you can actually control how much stabilization happens. And what it'll do is it'll crop in on your video. And by cropping in, it can make those adjustments where if you go too far to the left, it'll actually pan the video more to the right, thus causing it to be stable. Now I like to do most stable and just turn this effect all the way up so it makes my video as stable as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just give it a second here and boom, it cropped in a bit, but now it is stabilized. And now when we click play here, it is not as jittery as it used to be. It's actually holding the camera still. It is not shaking as much as it used to. So you can really stabilize footage if it is shaky, just using this free mobile app. And if you want access to all the features to make your videos better, consider checking out CapCut Pro. I will have a link down below in the description to CapCut, and you can sign up for CapCut Pro as well. That way you have all the tools unlocked to make the best videos possible. Effect number four is camera lens blur. We all wanna get that cinematic look where we're in focus and the background's all blurred out like a fancy professional camera. Well, you can actually create this in CapCut without needing the fancy camera. So here I have this video of me where I just filmed on my smartphone, took a real quick clip here, and I wanna blur the background. So all I need to do is click on my video, scroll over, and then click the copy button to make a duplicate. And then what I wanna do is make this video in the overlay. So I'm gonna scroll here, there's the overlay button, I'm gonna click that, just made it an overlay, and then I wanna scroll it all the way back over, so the videos are perfectly lined up, one right on top of the other. They are perfectly lined up. I'm also gonna click on one, turn volume all the way down to zero. So that way there's not this weird audio glitch or thing like that. Now here's where the magic happens. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna click the back button. I'm gonna to go to effects, video effects, and I'm going to go to lens and I'm going to find a blur. There we go, blur right on top. I'm just gonna click on that. And I'm just gonna click the check mark for now. Extend this for the full clip. And then what you also wanna do is click on object and make sure it's applied to the main video and not your overlay. So just want it to apply to the main video. And then what we want to do, back up again, we're gonna go back to our overlay and click on that. And then what we wanna do is scroll over and go to cut out and then click remove background. And what this is gonna do is CapCut's gonna remove the background from the overlay, exposing the main video, which is blurred with the blur effect on it. So then what we get is a blurred background. Boom, there we go. We have the background blurred out. If we want to, we can actually go to video effects and adjust the intensity of this. So I'm just gonna click on effects, here it is. Click adjust. And I can actually control the strength of this. So I can just have it as a light blur if I want, or I could do a very extreme blur, like I'm on a Zoom call or something. But I find just the faint blur is the most cinematic. So Here we go. Of... And now I have a video of me. I have the blurred background, and I didn't need to use cinematic video on an expensive iPhone. You can do this on any phone or any device or any camera. Get an epic cinematic blurred 
background. For the next effect, let's talk about motion tracking. And there's actually two different ways you can do this. The first way is you can manually do it with keyframes and just manually pan the camera around and do the keyframes. If you're not sure what keyframes are and how to use them, we just did a video on keyframe mastery. I'll leave it linked in the info card and in the description of this video. Or you should just subscribe to the channel as I do CapCut videos all the time. And also let me know, did the subscribe button just sparkle when I said subscribe? It means you should do it. And when you click it, it'll actually do little fireworks for you. So you should do it for that reason anyway. Well, maybe you're lazy and you don't want to actually manually keyframe the tracking. Well, guess what? CapCut has an auto tracking feature so it can track your face and place the keyframes for you. So in this project, I have this video of this person dancing, their head's moving all over the place and I want the camera to track it to give it that cool TikToker kind of effect. So all I have to do is click on the video, scroll over to camera tracking. And when I click on this, I can choose camera tracking and then I can choose to track the face, body or hand. Obviously I wanna track the face. That's what most people do when they do dancing videos and the tracking effects. And all I gotta do is click start and the software is gonna go through. And as you can see on the video, look at all those keyframes that were placed, all those little diamonds. It auto placed the keyframes and tracked the face. Now what you also would want to do and what I like to do is keep face size so it'll zoom in a bit and then also fit canvas and that'll cause it to zoom in a bit more too. So we have a nice zoomed in video. It's gonna track the face. Let's click check. Let's see what this looks like. Let's click play. As you can see, it is doing an amazing job of tracking the face and this looks super, super good. Like this would totally make the dance video look a ton better. And if you were to compare this tracking feature to After Effects tracking feature, I think you'd find they are very similar. And the average person who's watching your content is not gonna know the difference between CapCut's auto tracking and After Effects auto tracking. You can get that same effect with this mobile app nuts for the next effect let's talk about the sky changing effect and i actually saw someone on tiktok do this in after effects and i had to copy them and as you can see in this video i have this orb i throw it up into the sky and poof the sky has changed colors i've changed colors and you can actually do this all in cap cut if you want now before we even get into this effect what's important is how you set up to film this effect so in my project here you'll notice that i am filming with buildings in the background because if i would have chosen trees or something else it might have been more difficult to completely remove the sky from this effect so i purposefully chose buildings but what i also did is when i ended up changing the sky i made sure to move myself forward a bit so that way i was not standing up where the sky was because then i have to cut her out around myself and i'm there and that just makes it kind of weird to do the cutout so i made sure i took some steps forward and that was angled up a bit so i would be away from the sky and now this really simplifies the whole process of removing the sky all i have to do now is just select the video and then scroll over to the cutout section and then do customize cutout. Now, if you end up becoming a pro member of CapCut, you get the quick brush, and this allows me to just quickly do all this with my finger, just to let it know that I want this to stay. And then I'm just a little bit more careful around the house area. Let go, boom. It figured out that I just wanted the house and myself there and that the sky needs to be removed. So just gives it a few seconds, cutout applied, check continue boom sky is removed and i can place whatever i want in the sky now if you don't have the pro account and you still want to do this effect you can do customize you just have to wipe away the entire sky so now i have to draw this and start wiping away all you have to do is switch to the brush option and you just got to brush out the sky manually and that will take a bit of time uh because obviously you have to be really careful going around the buildings here and not erasing the building so that'll take some time to properly do it and you may have to wipe back some of the building so it's just going to take a bit longer but if you have the pro version you can just quick brush it poof it knows what you're trying to keep in frame and what you want removed but it's possible on both the paid cap cut account and the free account now once you do that all you have to do is find a video of a sky to put up into the sky as your your cool sky effect for me i just went to youtube found this really cool like moon and rock and a uh, cool sky effect there so that's what i used but still looking at this this doesn't sell the effect enough because what we have here is all these purple colors and blue colors and look at me i'm just 
I'm, I'm, I'm colored as if the sun is in the sky, not if there's actually these purple and blue colors. Because if there really was that light in the sky, it should affect me and the ground and everything around it. So what I actually did was I clicked on this, went to adjustments, and I adjust my scene to what it would actually look like if that was in the sky. Which once I went through the adjustments and kind of messed with everything, made it darker, gave the, the video a purple tint because the sky was purple. Now when I threw it into the sky, there is a little bit of shake from a video effect, but now it's purple on the bottom as well, which really sells the effect that I really changed the sky and that everything in the video was affected which gives us this awesome look. Now, if you really want to master CapCut, I've put together a playlist of some of my best CapCut tutorials to help you get better at this software. You want to click here and start consuming those videos so you can really master this software and make sure to subscribe so that way you see the little fireworks and also just get more videos like this to help you as a content creator.